Hello Moves drivers, welcome to the iOS Apple Driver Training Program. Today we're going to be learning how to use the driver app for iOS and Apple and it's brought to you by me, Amir Gorbani, the co-founder and CEO of Moves. Let's go ahead and get started. Here you're seeing on the left hand side the Moves Dispatch screen. On the right hand side you see the iOS app that you have today. To get started, we're going to go ahead and open up the App Store. Open up your App Store and search for Moves, M-O-O-V-S, Driver. Go ahead and click Moves Driver. You'll see here the Moves Driver app, five star rated. Go ahead and click it and click the download button. As soon as your app has been installed, let's go ahead and open up the Moves Driver application. Here you'll see the home screen of the Moves application. To sign in, we'll click sign in and it'll ask us for our mobile phone number. Let's go ahead and enter that mobile phone number here. As soon as we've entered our mobile phone number, let's click sign in. And upon signing in, we're going to be sent a code. We're going to enter that code in and as soon as we type the last character, we're now logged into the Moves Driver app. Here's the Moves Driver app home screen showing us that we have no upcoming trips because we haven't been assigned any trips. So let's see how this works. I'll show you here on the left hand side how you're going to be assigned to a trip. When you get assigned a trip, you'll go ahead and see on the right hand side. In this case, I'm assigning Monica, who's going to be the driver on the right hand side. If it doesn't pop up, you'll go ahead and drag down and refresh to now see the trip that has been assigned to you as a driver. As you can see here as a driver, if the time is too far in advance, we're not going to be able to start our trip. This way, we don't start a trip and activate our location to enable for our customers or for the operator. We're going to go ahead and update the time so we can get this trip started. So now you see our start trip is enabled and we're now going to leave our current location and we'll go ahead and click start. What you'll notice from the first time you click start is you're going to see a pop-up notification. Here you'll see the pop-up and you'll always want to make sure you allow the tracking while your app is while you're using your app. So let's click that. Now that you've clicked that, we can go ahead and click start trip. Here you'll see another notification pop up. It's very important that we change to always allow, but very important to understand that moves is protecting your location. You'll notice that no one will get access to your location until you hit start trip or end trip. And we're going to see that right now when we click to change to always allow. Now that you see we've changed to always allow, you'll see that you're not on the map and you're nowhere to be seen until you click start trip. As you can see now, we've started our trip and we now show up on the dispatch screen so our dispatchers know where we're at. And also, I'll show you the automated workflow that automates the ETA so that no one needs to call or text you to understand your ETA to the pickup. Here I'll show you what the customer now gets to see thanks to your opportunity to enable the starting of the trip. When you started the trip, the customer can view the map. By clicking view map, the customer can now see your location once you've started to the trip to the pickup address and the customer's routing details. You'll notice on the driver app, we'll mark your location and we'll let you know that the status is updated to on the way on the top of the screen. What will happen next is you're going to be driving to the pickup. As soon as you arrive to the pickup, we'll go ahead and click I arrived at pickup. As soon as you click I've arrived at pickup, we'll mark your location for you on on location and we even update the dispatch screen to on location with the timestamp. Your customer now got an automated text message and now you're waiting outside for them to come outside. Your customer now gets in the car, you're going to pull up the application and we're going to go to the drop off location. And you'll see here the dispatch screen get automated, letting your dispatchers know that I'm on my way to the drop off location. We'll also change your status to POV and give your dispatchers an ETA to the drop off. We'll get to the drop off location and we'll get the passengers nicely and safely out of the car. We'll now pull up our phone, we'll click arrived at drop off 
and we'll want to mark our trip as over by clicking end trip. Here we'll do our final steps of processing the trip and entering the pickup time, the end time, and any notes here. As soon as we've entered any closeout notes, we'll click away from the keypad, we'll click submit, and now we'll see we've ended our trip. And as soon as we end our trip, we'll notice that we'll be off the dispatch screen and we're not being tracked anymore until we're assigned another job and we start another trip. And here's the bonus. The customer doesn't see where you're at anymore. Your app looks like this. You're not being tracked anymore. We really appreciate you and enjoyed and thank you for watching the Moves iOS Apple training video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. We appreciate you.